Hey, I'm trying to do a video. Yeah, I am. I'm trying to do one. I'm trying to do one for my buddy Sid. Hello. Hey guys, it's Bill. I'm one happy diabetic. Uh, today's video is just going to be a quick response to Sid the Squid who asked some great insulin pump questions that I thought were pretty relevant. And just remember guys, this, this is just, uh, you know, my opinion. I'm not a medical professional. So just basically, you know, consult your physician first. Hey Sid, it's Bill and I want to answer those questions for you. They're really great questions. And your first one was, do you really trust your pump? I mean, do you really, really, really trust that battery operated thingy? What can go wrong? What can go right? And can you overdose? And what if it breaks? And how do you protect yourself after a malfunction? And how does it malfunction? Well, those are some really good questions. Uh, definitely being a pump user myself and obviously coming from, well, not obviously, but coming from injection therapy before, I do have some experience there. And trusting your pump has to be the most important of them. Uh, definitely that's something that I'm worried about every day. Um, unlike when you do a shot in your stomach or your arm or wherever you're doing your injection, you visibly can see whether that inject injection happened or not. You know, you're the one doing the injection and you really don't have anything to worry about. You're not worried about a blockage or things like that that can happen with an insulin pump. Um, and yes, it is battery operated. They, some of these pumps uh, tend to be splash proof or waterproof. So, you know, I really don't, uh, you know, obviously I don't take mine in the shower. Some people do, but I kind of try to keep it away from water and things like that. But I'm not really too concerned about it. Um, the trust factor that you have to think about with your pump is basically making sure that you're getting constant delivery of insulin uh, because in your tubing and definitely more where your site is connected in your stomach, belly, or butt area, uh, you can tend to get some blockages, and I've had a few. Um, and basically that happens when, you know, either there's a blockage just for some bizarre reason and I don't know, or there's a blockage because I've maybe worn my set too long. And you're supposed to change your set every two or three days usually, and if you kind of let it go a little bit long, you can get some blockages. And that's why I always try to uh, make sure that I'm always changing my set every two to three days so I don't even have to worry about that stuff. Um, but that's something that you have to be worried about. And so anytime I'm doing a correction uh, for my, you know, sugar value or doing a meal uh, bolus, I'm always making sure that I check my insulin levels after just to make sure that I'm getting that delivery of insulin. Uh, but really, that's kind of all you have to worry about, extra, you know, because you really don't have to worry about that with a syringe. Then you ask, what if it breaks? Uh, well, you know, my experience um, with these pump companies is that I can get a new pump shipped within me within a day, within two days, within a couple business days. Um, so worst case scenario is, is, you know, it gets stuck underneath a car and it gets ran over or maybe water damage or who knows what. You might have seen my videos on cracks. You can have a crack in your insulin pump. Just any damage that might happen to a cell phone for it not to work in a sense. Um, basically, you know, you'll be able to get a new one rather quickly. So um, that's a really good situation too. And maybe in the meantime, you have to do shots or something like that. But in my experience, uh, at least my malfunctions haven't completely disabled my pump, and that does happen to some people. Mine, mine hasn't, where I can't get any insulin. Uh, like my video with the cracks, you know, my pump was still working, so I still was able to use it, and then I got one shipped to me, like, in the next couple days. Um, and also, how do you protect yourself after a mal malfunction? Um, well, it's kind of like, you know, if you're going into water and it, you know, burns out, maybe don't go into water again, I guess. Um, but it's really just making sure that you're doing everything on a routine. You know, that structure and organization that you talked about, I'm going to be do, doing a video on that, um, is really important just to make sure that, um, you know, your insulin levels are full. There's gauges on your pump that show, you know, that, it, you know, how full they are and they will alarm when it gets to a certain amount to make sure, you know, that you're changing that properly. Uh, same thing with the battery. It shows your battery life. So, you know, if it's getting low, it'll alert you two days ahead of time or a day ahead of time that you need to change your battery and you change it. Um, so overall, do I trust my pump? Yeah, absolutely, I do. And really, anything that goes wrong with the pump is 99.9% .9 my fault. It's something that I've done. Um, and that's really kind of how diabetes is anyways. You know, anything where I'm not online, it's really my fault, you know, in a sense. Um, so I hope those answered your questions a little bit. I know it might be a little bit lengthy, but I thought it would help. Take care, Sid.